Knitted Bunny Balloon Animal. Hi guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to Studio Knit. Today we are going to celebrate springtime and Easter with these adorable knitted balloon animal bunnies. I love knitting up this great pattern by Lion Brand Yarn and I thought that you would love to see how we knit, twist, and tie them up to make this really special bunny. The link to Lion Brand Yarn's free pattern is in my description below. The materials to knit our balloon bunny are Aran weighted yarn, the color choice is totally optional, two size six US knitting needles, scissors, a tapestry needle, and stuffing. I'm using scraps of yarn cut up from a previous project. We will begin by casting on six stitches using the long tail cast on method. Row one, we knit. Row two, we purl. Now row three, we begin our increases. So on every single stitch, we will be knitting front and back. So we begin with six stitches and we will end up with 12. If you're not familiar with knit front and back, also written as KFB, I have a link in the description below. Now row four, we will purl. And it's another increase row. So we have 12 stitches. We are going to knit front and back on every stitch again. That will double the number of stitches we have on our needle. So we are taking it from 12 to 24. Now we just continue knitting in the stockinette stitch for 31 inches. If you're not familiar with the stockinette stitch, it's simply purling one row and then knitting the next. Okay, so now at the very end, we are going to make our tail by doing decrease rows, very similar to how we made our increase rows. So here we go. We are going to knit two together. That's written as K2TOG. And now we are down to 12 stitches. Next, we will purl. And again, it's knit two together. So that's going to take us down to six stitches. Now we do not bind off. We simply cut our yarn, we leave a long tail and thread that tail through the remaining stitches. And then we can just simply knot. Oh, and if you think this would be a great quick knit to make for those you love, please leave a comment below and tell us a little bit about who you think would love a balloon bunny knitted especially by you. I'm knitting mine for my niece Delilah. She loves the color pink. Attach our eyes to the head. And you do that just one and a half inches from the edge, from our cast on edge. You can use safety eyes. I'm simply knotting some yarn about six times and weaving it through. Okay, so now we have our big long piece that we are going to seam up into a big long tube. Now, if you've knitted the stockinette stitch, you'll know that it does have a tendency to curl up a little bit. Whatever is your favorite way, go ahead, seam it up. And as you go, you can stuff along the way as well. It's a lot easier to do it this way rather than stuffing at the very end since this is such a long piece. Now it's time for us to wrap and tie. And you will see in the pattern that there are these different segments here. We wrap and tie. What I like to do is I like to mark off the different inches that we have to wrap and tie first and then once those are all measured out I can simply wrap and tie. Okay so now the real fun begins. We are going to tie the ears together and then this is our next section right here. These two are our arms and we will tie the arms together and right here are the legs. So you go ahead and tie the legs together. And it's really fun to just tie and twist and sort of create your bunny and get him all into place.
So now, with any color of your choice, go ahead and embroider a mouth, whiskers, whatever you would like to do to decorate your bunny to give it a little bit extra personality. Oh, our balloon bunny is so cute. I hope you're inspired to try this project yourself. Thank you so much for watching Studio Knit. When you subscribe, you will receive a free knitting video every Monday. And make sure to check out my other fun springtime and Easter quick knits too.